here we have a stuck outdoor air and mixed air actuator. This actuator has been hanging up wide open and then not opening as well. Right now it looks like it's stuck at about 30%, even though it's all out of whack. So we're going to replace it with a newer model Johnson actuator. We're going to go to our controller box and turn the controls right off. By turning the controller off, this actuator should have went to 0% open because it's spring return. But obviously that's not happening because it's right about 30% right now. So we need to have this return spring action. We have to verify that that works and it doesn't. So we're gonna replace the actuator. First we'll start by loosening the 10 millimeter U-bolts that hold the actuator to the shaft. This is the shaft that drives the outdoor air damper. And then we'll loosen the screw on the back tab. Pull off. Nope. Looks like we have to re completely remove the screw. Okay. We have the screw out and the U-bolt is off. We'll pull it out. Here's our box that has our connections for our actuator electrical connections. Here's my wiring for my old actuator. I'm going to mark my VDC wire, which is the control wire, with a marker so I know which one it is, seeing I have multiple wires the same color on this wiring. Putting a little black mark on this red wire before I pull it through. Or armor sucks. You see I'm on the edge of my shaft that opens the damper. So clockwise is my outdoor air damper is shut. Counterclockwise swings it open. So we know we want it counterclockwise, spring return closed. Here's my new actuator. This is the A side. I need to put the linkage clamp on the B side. slide the actuator over the damper shaft. Now we'll put the screw back in and tighten it up on the back. It's on the back of the actuator. Now we need to tighten up the screws to the shaft. With our power off, No connections. We're going to put this in our closed position and then tighten the shaft using a 10 millimeter ratchet. Okay, we're going to run our wire into our existing armor flex. All right, I have my wire run through my armor flex back into the air handler and I'll put it into the junction. Put the pointer on the linkage. That'll show us where our actuator is. Right now, because we haven't applied power to the actuator, it's at minus five. That's how it's set up before you apply power. That gives you a nice tight close on your damper. The wiring is different than our old wiring. Our black is brown. Our orange is not used on this application. It is a feedback wire. Red on this new wiring is our 24 volt power and the gray wire will be our in other our browns this is our red wire to our actuator and the 24 volt red wire from our old actuator and we 
have our gray wire to our old control wire connection. And then we're going to cap off the orange wire because it's not used in this application. It's a feedback wire. It's not, we don't have that on our control. Capped off the, the orange wire. Put them all back in the box. Okay, we've got everything bolted up. Our actuators installed. We're going to turn the unit back on and see if it goes to minimum position. We're back on. We've got power. And our new actuator is starting to operate. All right, looking like we're at. 10% our minimum position. We are good to go. Alright, we confirmed 